now that we know about molarity, we can use concentration instead of mass, like we can use concentration and volume together instead of mass um, to start our stoichiometry problems. And so we know about this reactant, we know its volume and concentration, and we're going to do stoichiometry to figure out how much of this reactant that we need. So how do we start that? Well, the thing to remember is that molarity is actually a conversion factor itself. So this 2.5 molar actually means 2.5 moles H2SO4 per 1 liter of H2SO4 solution. And since it has two parts, you don't usually start with that. You start with the one number, one unit. And then on the next step, you can put the liters down here so that it will cancel. And you can go to the moles up here. And this part is using this concentration. So the 2.5 will go here and a 1 there. And I'm going to continue on my other whiteboard. Okay, and this is um, just what I had just done rewritten. And so I've gotten to moles of this reactant, the sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and I'm wanting to figure out how much of the sodium hydroxide. So my next step, once I get to moles, is to go from moles of the one I have to the moles of the reactant I'm interested in. And I do this using coefficients. So it's a 1 here and a 2 there. Next step, it asks for how many kilograms to neutralize this. So I've got moles. I'll go from moles. Usually we go to grams next. Because that's how molar mass is done. And so I'm going to use the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, which is 40. 